Welcome to Better View. In this video, I am going to talk about penis of bull. So the male genital organs of the bull is a very frequently asked question in the exam. So today we are going to discuss that. So the penis of a bull is a cylindrical male intermittent organ that also serves as the urinal tract or urinal duct. Okay. So the penis serves two purposes. First, it is the passage for the sperms and second, it is the passage for the urine. Okay, then it is divided into three parts, root, body and glands. So radix penis or the root of the penis is formed by two crura. So the two crura are made up of erectile tissue which arise from the lateral aspect of the ischial arch and form root of the penis. It remains covered by ischiocavernosus muscle. Okay, so this is the ischial arch and like this two crura or two hands of erectile tissue will come and together form the root of the radix like this okay these are the two crura then the body of the penis which is the main shaft and the longest part of the penis uh, it is the largest organ the largest part of the organ sorry and it is present between the root and glands it passes between the thighs and form an s-shaped curve that is called the sigmoid flexure that is behind the scrotum so it is called post scrotal sigmoid flexure a very very important point very frequently asked in the exams in which species the sigmoid flexure is post scrotal it is in bull in case of swine uh, we'll see a pre scrotal sigmoid flexure okay so sigmoid flexure is a very important point then glans penis it is the free conical end of the penis which is covered by a structure called prepuce in its non erectile state the glans of bull is slightly twisted and presents a groove at the left side of the tip containing the external urethral orifice okay so in case of humans in case of dogs in case of horses the penis is very symmetrical okay but in case of ruminants so bull especially in ram and male goats what you will see that the penis is asymmetrical okay and here what i have written the uh, the glance presents a groove at the left side of the tip okay so you can identify which side is left which side is right on the basis of the groove okay and what is this groove it is the external urethral orifice again important point okay so we have discussed the three parts of the penis one important thing is that the type of penis in bull is fibrous type okay so penis is of two types one is cavernous and the second one is fibrous and what is the difference between them so the cavernous types have very big cavernae okay they are endothelium lined structures which are filled with blood and then they give rise to erection of course in bull cavernae are present but they are much less developed than let us say in case of horse and dog in horse dog humans we see cavernous penises so the mechanism of erection is based on the filling of blood in the penis and the penis will get gorged with the blood the cavernae will get filled with the blood and the penis will get erected there's increase in the length but in case of bull there's no uh, not such increase in the length the entire penis is of uh, has a length of three feet okay and it is folded in an s shaped manner called the sigmoid flexure and what will happen when there is a uh, blood in the penis when it will get gorged with blood what will happen the sigmoid flexure will straighten okay so this is the flaccid state that is why it is like this when it will get erect this s shape will be gone so it will become like this okay and that is why the cavernae they don't form the main mechanism of erection in case of bull that is why we call it fibrous penis okay then structure the penis is formed by a bulky muscle called corpus cavernosum penis the tunica albuginea surrounds this muscle and sends trabeculae inside it these form boundaries of cavities lined by endothelium called cavernae just like i said which gets filled with blood to cause erection so corpus cavernosum penis is the main muscle of the penis okay and this is responsible for the erection then corpus cavernosum urethrae also called the corpus spongiosum 
surrounds the urethra and have finer trabeculae and less cavernae. The glans penis is composed of only corpus spongiosum and it lies ventrally to corpus cavernosum penis along the urethral groove. So the structure of penis of bull or any other penis in general is like this. At top, we have the corpus cavernosum penis and then at bottom, we have corpus spongiosum or the corpus cavernosum urethrae and then at the middle, we have the urethra. Okay, they are not exactly like that. Uh, they are situated in this manner. Okay, like this. So, this is not one bundle. They are uh, in the form of two bundles. Okay, let me draw it again. Like this. One. This is the urethra. And then two and three. Okay, so this one is the corpus cavernosum penis and these two are corpus spongiosum. Because they have very uh, less cavernae and the cavernae are also small in size, this particular muscle is not responsible for the erection. But know one thing that this is the side view of penis. Okay, and what is happening? This whole gland structure is composed of corpus cavernosum. Okay, this structure is corpus cavernosum while this structure is a corpus cavernosum penis while the blue structure is corpus cavernosum urethrae or the corpus spongiosum okay so notice one thing that the body is made up of corpus cavernosum penis so only the body is getting erected while the glans penis will not okay so corpus spongiosum will form the entirety of the glans penis so these are the two main muscles of course there's also another muscle called the skew cavernosus muscle which uh, we'll talk about in the muscles of the penis so there are three muscles which are responsible for the function of the penis the first of which is ischio cavernosus the most important one why it is called erector penis so it is responsible for the erection of the penis it extends from the tuber sky that is its origin and it inserts to the cross of the penis okay then bulbo cavernosus also called the bulbo spongiosus muscle extends from the ischial arch to the glans penis it is the continuation of urethralis muscle this is important point then retractor penis it is the continuation of suspensory ligament of the anus again important and pass forward along the ventral surface of the body of either side and terminate at the lateral aspect of the body at the second curve of sigmoid flexure okay so c this is the ischio cavernosus muscle and when you get a specimen or you are seeing a well preserved specimen of penis of wool how you can identify the root or the radix penis is by looking at the ischio cavernosus muscle because the root is covered by the ischio cavernosus muscle okay so this portion is the ischio cavernosus muscle okay and it is covering the root of the penis then this one right here is the retractor penis muscle and what it does after erection has subsided it will contract and then it will retract the penis okay so these are the important muscles of the penis then at last we have the blood supply and nerve supply the blood supply is by the dorsal artery and the deep artery of the penis which are branches of internal iliac artery and nerve supply is by the pelvic plexor plexus and the dorsal nerve of the penis that is a branch of pudendal nerve okay so this is it for the penis of bull what you have to remember first thing it is the common passage of urine and sperm second it has three parts the radix penis corpora penis and glans penis then the internal structure so it has corpus corpus cavernosum penis corpus cavernosum urethrae Glans is only composed of corpus spongiosum or corpus cavernosum urethrae. Then there are three muscles which are responsible for the function of the penis. We have ischio cavernosus, bulbo cavernosus and retractor penis. Then the blood supply is by the branches of internal iliac artery while the nerve supply is by the branch of pudendal nerve and the pelvic plexus. Okay, so if you found this video useful, then please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and if you haven't, then subscribe to my channel. Thank you.